Okay, on this uh, short video, I'd like to show you a flitz polish technique. And we've got uh, two old violins here to experiment on. And this is, uh, this is a little tube, clever little box that comes in. So it's flitz.com. And uh, that's what it looks like inside. You can just order it online. And they also have these uh, special polishing cloths. You'll see them listed. Um, I recommend you get a, a bag of these to go with it too. And one tube here will probably do 10, 10 instruments. And the idea here is to uh, polish mature the varnish. And uh, I think this will, uh, in just a few short uh, minutes, you well, probably uh, in an hour, you can take an instrument up and fully mature the varnish through this polish technique that would take years of just natural use and using the commercial polish in a professional musician keeping your instrument clean. This will do it in a short period of time. And I'll show you the difference. So this is our special um, tapping pencil, a smencil made out of recycled newspaper that I recommend you use. And just to hear the two sides, okay, so you get an idea sound very similar. And this is done in four steps. Um, it looks like blue toothpaste. And it's very important you don't put any on the surface and just leave it. You have to put it on and immediately rub it in. And the idea is you continue rubbing until it's completely rubbed in. And that represents one time. And you do this four times and just do uh, no more than a fourth of a plate at a time. So it'd be like one, two, three, four, you can even break it into five, six if you want. So, so far, okay, so what I'm going to do, put a little bit here, and I'm just going to do one side, I'll just pick the top side here. Immediately rub it in, it's round and round and round and round and round, don't leave any on the surface. Now the Flitz is designed as a heavy duty metal polish and, uh, and I just ran across it by accident. You see if you keep polishing, you can kind of see it's got a nice, nice polish to it actually. Okay, let's see if there's any difference. Now listen to the tone before, just in its natural state. Sounds like the sound is being drawn into the... Here it sounds like it's just on top of the surface, is laying there. So that's probably going to be a better sound to the audience. That's one application. Let's do second application. Okay, just that little dab. And I just get it where I can rub it in. Two. So keep rubbing it in until it's completely gone. I'm trying to stay just on that half so you can hear the difference it makes. And I'll shut off. And by careful measuring, if you measure the weight of your instrument when you start, and by the time you do it four times, there's about a two gram uh, increase in weight for the whole instrument. Now it sounds like it sounds coming off the instrument a little bit. Going in, coming off a little bit. Okay, let's try three coats. I got right my finger here. And again, you can see it's got a nice, brings the luster back to this old varnish.
So that's going to be a, more of a projecting kind of sound. And you can hear now it's, it seems like the sound's coming off the surface. Going in. Okay, that's three coats. And I found that uh, four applications gives a maximum uh, benefit. And after the fourth application, extra coats don't seem to make any improvement. So this is the fourth coat. Don't leave any on the surface. Get it rubbed in right away. Okay, rub it completely off here. So this would be the maximum difference. The sound comes right off the surface. And that's what this instrument's designed to do is radiate sound off. So here you've got sound radiating off versus kind of just absorbed into the wood. Okay, so that's um, the Flitz varnish technique. And uh, try it, you might be impressed. And again, I mentioned don't leave any on the surface. If you just left a blob on the surface for even five minutes, it'll just, um, it sort of just makes the varnish disappear. The color stays, but uh, the varnish layer just is almost just eaten down. So do it this way. I've had a good, <laughs> good work experience with it, and uh, it gives a, apparently a permanent maturing of the sound. Okay, thank you.